Hello there students! Today we're going to study the Unit 2 ourselves. Our learning objectives, to know about yourself, to identify and label the parts of the body, to know why humans are the same, similar, and different. Now, it's all about me. It's all about you. Today, you are going to learn about yourself. You are a human, right? We are humans. You are a living thing. We already studied about this when we were in KG2. And you are alive. Now, how would you know that you are alive? Now, look at these pictures of activities. You talk to your partner like you ask, do you eat? Or can you move? Do you grow? How about, can you breathe? Or can you sense things around you? Again, ask your partners, how do you know that you are a living thing? And also, what things do you do that show you are alive? And this quote from Aristotle, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Okay, for your activity, let's make a book called All About Me. What you're going to do is, what picture you will you draw on the cover of your book? Okay, let's have an activity. Let's make a book called All About Me. Now, what picture will you draw on the cover of your book? You have to write your name, draw a picture of where you live, and uh, draw a picture of your family. Then again, draw some pictures of things that you do that show you are a living thing. Remember, think about the talk partner's activity we did before this. In this lesson, you learned about the scientific words human, living thing, alive, eat, move, grow, sense, breathe. Okay, this is about naming the parts of your body. Can you help me? Touch your hair. Where is the hair? How about the head? How about the eye? Yes, how many eyes do we have? One, two. All right, very good. How about show me your white feet? Okay, these are the teeth. And where is the ear? How many ears do you have? One, two. We have two ears. How about your mouth? Can I see? Open your mouth. Say, ah. <laughs> How about your tongue? Show me your tongue. Okay, that is a clean tongue. Very good. How about, where is the arm? Show me your strong arm. Good job. How about your hand? How many hands do we have? Yes, the right and the left hand. We have two. How about your fingers? Okay, then how many fingers do we have? Can you count with me? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good counting. How about your leg? How many legs do we have? Again, two, the right and the left. And how about your foot? That is the foot, but we have, how many foot do we have? Two. Now we say it feet. If there are two foot, we say it feet. Okay? The right foot and the left foot. How about your toes? This on your foot or on your feet, we call this 
toes. Very good. Now look at the picture. These labels are all parts of the body. We will draw lines to the correct words to label this picture. Okay, are you ready? Now, where is the head? Draw a line to the head. How about the shoulder? Now, can you draw a line to the arm? Very good. Now, how about the wrist? Can you draw a line to the wrist? Good job. And where is the chest? Yes, the chest is near the heart. How about the knee? Okay, that is a good job. Now, let's try on this side. Draw a line to the hand. How about the elbow? Now, make a line to the leg. How about the ankle? Okay. And where is the foot? Oh, good job. Now, here are some more names of body parts. Then let's try to find out where each part is on the body. How about draw a line to the neck? Okay, that is the neck. It connects the body and the head. How about the chin? Where is the chin? Okay, that is the chin. And draw a line to the fingers. Well done! That is a good job. Same, similar, and different. Humans are the same in many ways. We have two legs, two arms, a head, and a body. All humans do not look exactly the same. Sometimes we look similar. Humans do not all like the same things. We are not all the same size. We are different. Just look at these pictures. Okay? Now the first picture. Can you tell me? If it is same, similar, or different. Yes, they are similar. And these babies, we call them identical twins. Okay? Identical, it means they have the same features. How about the second picture? Look at these two boys. Are they the same, similar, or different? Anyone? Yes, that is a good guess. They are similar. Similar on what? Yeah, they are similar on their hair color. They have similar. Now look at the first picture of these cute babies. Can you tell us if they are the same, similar, or different? Yes, they are the same. And we call them identical twins. When we say identical, they are exactly alike. They have the same features. Alright? Now, the second picture, you can see two cute boys. Now, tell us if they are the same, similar, or different. Yes, they are similar. Why? They have similar hair color. They have similar color skin. And even the shape of their nose are similar. Okay? But not the same. Because look at those uh, eyes. No, they have different shapes. How about the last picture? Are they the same, similar, or different? Yes. They are different. How are they different? Look at their hair color. One is black and it's curly. And the other one is, yeah, straight and blonde. And even the color of their skin is different. 
One is fair and one is brown. Okay, now can you look at your partner and find something you have the same and you have something that is similar and something that you are different with one another. In this activity, you will draw a picture of yourself in your All About Me book. You copy and complete these sentences. My name is, then write your name. I am six or seven years old. The color of my eyes is what? Black, brown, gray? I don't know. That is up to you. The color of my hair is black, blonde, brown. My favorite food is... I know you can write a lot in here. Remember our lesson last week. My favorite animal is... Also, we studied this last week. And when I grow up, I want to be... Now, don't forget to complete this sentence says in your All About Me book. These scientific words, same, arms, body, different, legs, head, similar, you can use this when you are talking to your partner. When you are done with your All About Me book, show it with your partner and discuss how are you both the same, how are you different, all right? from our lesson today all right i have given you worksheets and i know you can do it completely and neatly thank you so much for listening bye